Hello, my dear friends. Can you identify me? Yes, I am a drop of water. I stand on behalf of my family. Water. Yes, every drop counts. Little drops of water make the mighty ocean. So I am here to share about me. I am called by the name water. Yes, I am a valuable natural resource. Do you know that? I am a valuable natural resource. Yes, I am found in different forms in the environment. I am a clear liquid, transparent, tasteless, colorless, odorless and shapeless. As you have different parts of your body, I have atoms. Yes, I have atoms. I have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. How many? Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So, I am also addressed as H2O. How am I addressed as H2O? Dear friends, I can take three forms, three states. That is solid form, liquid form and gas form. When I am frozen, I occur as solid in the form of ice, snow, hail, frost, etc. When I am in the liquid form, that is in the form of rain, dew, I am wet and as fluid. You use me in many ways including washing and drinking. My another form is gas in the form of vapor, steam. Do you know that? I am always present in air. In this vapor form. In the air all around you. When you boil us, we change from a liquid to gas or water vapor. As some water vapor cools, you can see us as a small cloud called steam. Yes, our steam form, our steam form is a mini version of the clouds you see in the sky. Remember, our steam form is a mini version of the clouds what you see in the sky. Dear friends, we on earth today have been here for millions of years. Because of our cyclic action, we move from earth to the air to the earth again. We keep changing from solid to liquid to gas over and over again and again. Yes, we evaporate Due to heat, travel into the air, become part of a cloud, fall down to earth as rain, precipitation and then evaporate again. This is never ending cycle and is termed as water cycle. What's it termed as? Water cycle. Water cycle. Water on this earth have been here for millions of years because of the cyclic action. Water cycle. (coughs) 
heat from the sun causes water to evaporate from oceans, lakes and streams etc. Yes, evaporation occurs when liquid water on earth's surface turns into water vapor in a atmosphere. When water changes into water vapor, we call it as evaporation. As the water vapor rises higher and higher, the cool air of the atmosphere causes the water vapor to turn back into liquid water, creating clouds. This process is called condensation. Yes, remember when the water vapor reaches up in the air, in the sky, it changes into tiny tiny droplets of water. These tiny droplets along with various gases and dust particles come together to form clouds. This is known as condensation. When a cloud becomes full of liquid water, it falls from the sky as rain or snow, also known as precipitation. Yes, when the clouds become too heavy and it cannot hold any more water inside, burst open to give out rain or hail or snow. Yes, this is known as precipitation. As it rains, water gets collected in oceans, seas, rivers, etc. And it even sinks through the soil and becomes underground water. And the process starts all over again. Yes, like this only, water cycle is a continuous process of evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Do you know plants sweat? Yes, water from plants and trees also enter the atmosphere. This is called transpiration. That's why it rains more in places where there are more trees. My dear friends, hope you understood what my Nanima and Mr. Raindrop told to you. Yes, there is a lot to share with you will continue in the next video. Do not miss it. Like, subscribe and share my channel. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.